Going already. Hello. Well, who are you? Hey, I'm Max. Ah, yes. You told me about you. Are you sick? Oh, not very healthy, but I'm not sick. Not very healthy, but not sick. Okay, I guess I understand. 80% performance. Ah, that's why they break you then. Did you have something that you needed from me? And who are you? Do I have to tell you? I L? No. Then you might tell me something. All right. I'm from the human colony. Oh, hello. Where are you? I'm good. I'm not sure why I'm here, though. Um. Uh, my name is Insen. Insen? Insen. Welcome. Uh, okay. They sent you by mistake, but we might use your communication anyway if you already came where, here. where are you looking for? Uh, if you're looking for healing, I'm not the right guy. No, I was looking for advice in my career, and obviously I was looking for someone who is uh, more like into the uh, future knowledge, like uh, a god or spirit guides. But the human colony people we invite when we have public sessions and you on record so we can communicate. Ah. So you're looking for financial advice. Are you in finances? Well in a way. But I don't know how I can help you. What's your situation? I don't think you no. Um people from the colony are not basically qualified to help I mean basically the, the aliens sometimes can look into their no. careers and other stuff. I'm an alien hybrid, but that's not the same. Alien hybrid? Yes. Let's talk about what is interesting to our community. Tell me yeah. more about your life. What's your history? Well, I was born on Earth. Uh-huh. But I do, do not live there any longer. They found a way to remove me without anyone knowing. Uh-huh. Uh, you have special talents? Are you telepathic? Yes. Telekinetic? Um, sometimes. And you know all the alien technology? Basically, you are in the alien culture, right? For the last 15 years. Excellent. What culture have you brought up in? Uh, more Actually, I was brought up with other hybrids, just like myself. Yes, what culture is it? Would it be like hybrid culture? Yes, it is a hybrid culture. Of Yigil, Pieladian, a little Arcturian here and there, Lyran. Excellent, thank you. That's very interesting. A uh, one reptilian. Uh-huh. Poor boy. No one understood. Was it in the solar system or elsewhere? Elsewhere. Uh-huh. Very interesting. So, how do you like EO? I like EO fine. They're very good to me. What shouldn't I like about them? What kind of hybrid are you? Let me see if I can tell you. I have some um, Pleiadian, but uh, there's something unusual about my hybridization, so they, uh, that's why they brought me. Uh-huh. So how much do you know about Earth culture? I know some about Earth culture. I know about, I've studied things about your culture. Do you follow the news, the Earth news? Sometimes, not every day. It's violent. It's, it's depressing. So we don't like to bring down our vibrations too much. Ah. Do you have like alien alternative for the Earth news? Yes. Kind of a channel for alien digested? Yes. Tell me more about it. It's um, more open to the galaxy and beyond. 
there are people that watch what happens on Earth from very, very far distances. Uh-huh. How is it organized? Is it telepathic? It is not telepathic, but it is organically technology. Organic technology. So it's like a download? You subscribe to a download? It's something like that, yes. And when you get it, what, how do you perceive it? How would, can you explain me how would I feel it? You uh, perceive that it's in sections, and you pull the sections out that you want. Is it visual or not? Yes, it's visual. Oh, it's visual. So it's like watching TV, but as a download, not as a continuous process. Cor correct. And they give, so it's not so depressing, they give the positive outcome of the, the particular things that are being shown. Amazing. That's very interesting. Do any Earth humans get that update? No. Oh. Yeah, because it would uh, mess up the timeline. No, but no one on Earth can see it because they would know things in the near future that would not be helpful for them. Yeah, yeah. The experience would be lost. Yes. Oh. But anyway, I don't still know why I'm here. Oh. I think I explained, but I will explain again. We are a community of light workers down here, and we volunteer to visit human colonies. Many of us are hybrids. And I invited people from the whole colony and hybrids to tell us more about the life up there. It's a great interest of our ah, community. Now I know why I'm here. This is part of their experimentation program to bring hybrids into contact with the humans for the first time. Or... Yes, yes. I see. That it was confusing at first. I didn't pronounce that ever, but that I was... Do, I just don't know why they didn't tell me that I was coming. Because it sort of forced me here. Oh, they, they were confused. Because I had a thought that I want to invite hybrids for the next broadcast. But ah. it wasn't this one, it was next one. Okay. So they were confused, and they kind of rushed to send you in here, but you actually invited for public broadcast or have a community discussion things. Ah. But we can use that opportunity now. Um, so what is our major ignorance? Where we need to get become more aware about hybrids and their intentions. You have to realize that they're like you in the sense that they are part one thing and part another. Yes. So don't treat them any differently. Yes. And don't treat them like they're special because they may not be uh -huh. so special. Uh-huh. Um, you just get to know them like anyone else, but you, of course, their telepathy will be able to work with you. They will know more about you than you will know about them. Yeah. But that is all right. Just treat them as normal people. And I believe you do pretty much on your website. Yes. That I've okay. seen. I don't, I've only looked at it a couple times. But I found it quite interesting. I don't have a lot of time for that sort of thing, though. Oh, what's your work? Um, I'm a communications person as well. As well, maybe that's cool. Um, that I can't say. But I am doing communications work with them. And that's probably why they chose me to come today. They are who? Crook for Kinnear. I see. Um, so I will share with you a little miracle, which is miracle for me, maybe it's not miracle for you. Okay. I had a thought that I would invite hybrids for the next public webinar, yes. but I didn't say to anyone. No. And they guessed it. Yes. So that was nice. Or maybe they just read the future, or was it reading my mind or the future thing? It, they have a couple different ways they can determine what you're thinking. Your actions have something to do with it, your emotional ups and downs. But they, you as a person, 
um, they seem to know you pretty well. So I didn't ever say that anywhere. I wasn't even thinking about that most of the time. It was just a decision which I made and then I kind of put it on the back of my mind. Perhaps it was they that told you that they were sending hybrids. No, it was my idea. <laughs> well, here I am. Thank you. Uh, have you met my uh, children? I have three up there. No, I... Oh, you're... Oh, yes, your children. I thought you meant down here. No, I've not met them down here. But the ones up there, yes, I met Nina and I met the newest arrival. Masha. Masha. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about them. I'm so curious. What do you want to know? Well, something tangible. How is Masha growing? What's her interests? What is her appearance and those things? She is still very young. They are letting her grow at, an, at a normal age. What is that? Right, right. Yes, normal But rate. that's not normal. It should, I mean, to humans it wouldn't be normal, but for hybrids it might be. Yes, she is... She is born, yes. Have you mentally, telepathically spoken to her? No, I only know of her. I really don't know her well. Huh. Um, she's still in a young age, and they keep those children with parental kind of people for a while, and before they introduce them to the public, and then when they're at a certain age, they introduce the public to them, and it's more or less easier that way because they're told ahead of time what to expect, and they get a mental download of who will be there so that they'll be able to recognize the people, but it is important that they socialize as, as they get a little older. Uh, tell me more about physical appearance of Nina. How does she look? Nina is probably uh, the most beautiful person. That, if, if you were to ask anyone about Nina, the first thing they would say is about her beauty. It's unsurpassed among her the hybrids. Ah. She's incredibly well liked and that adds to her beauty uh -huh. and incredibly smart. She's really smart. Yeah. And and uh, so many different talents. She brought she has some of your talents and she has some of Oxana's talents. And she has some of her own talents, so that's very interesting. Tell me about your personal interaction with her. Oh, I had to speak to her about going to the colonies because they wanted me to teach certain things on Colony 2. That's underway, by the way. We, uh, uh, we haven't yet gone there, mm -hmm. but uh, we are, there are certain ones of us being interviewed to do certain things there. And so that's how I met her, through an interview process. Tell me something tangible. How did you meet her first time? That was the first time. How did you meet her physically? Did you enter the room or something? Yes, I had to enter the room. She has an office, sort of office kind Tell of thing. Tell me about it. Tell me something physical. There are moving pictures on the wall. Did she sit in an office on the desk or what is it? Well, sometimes. Sometimes she's sitting above the desk. Yes. And so, you? You walked or flew? Or I came in. I walked in. And the uh, chair that I sat in moved up to her level. So. Ah. Would you the, touch each other by greeting or you wouldn't? How would normally you would proceed? She would send out a uh, introductory thought pattern. Yes. Oh, shall we meet eyes? Yes. We looked in each other's eyes constantly. That's part oh, of Oh, that's how you communicate? Well, the te telepathy between us is better if the eyes are connected. Would you blink? Of course. So, how would it be different from human conversation? You would be looking at eyes to eyes more often? Yes. Why would humans feel that looking eyes to eyes is so uncomfortable, I guess? Because most humans have things about themselves they don't want people to look and see. So they need to bring out that 
sting those things within them and cleanse them. Why animals consider looking eyes to eyes as uh, aggression? You know? Because they're not telepathic. They, when they look eyes to eyes, they see the anger within them, and that's, that's all they can see. Ah. So would, would looking eyes to eyes for humans promote telepathy or not? I believe it would. Ah. Why wouldn't it? Unless you are ashamed to, to show what is in your soul. The eyes are the window of the soul and people can sometimes read what's there. Ah. And that is true of humans as well. Yeah, I had a couple acquaintances who would uh, look right into my eyes and I felt very uncomfortable in the past. They had that habit of looking into their eyes most of the time. They and would actually want you to connect with them. And at that time I wasn't ready. Not at all. It was very uncomfortable. I thought they were creepy. I liked them in a way, but not looking into their eyes. I see. In general, I used to hide my eyes. I was most of the time low energy and I wouldn't. And, and looking eyes to eyes drains my energy, actually. It, it does. Be. It should not. It should, you, it should actually energize you. Oh. Perhaps that's something that I will let them know about. Perhaps they are unaware of it. Oh. Well, I am happy to meet you, but I don't have much information for you. Oh, that was very interesting talking about Nina and, and Mark. Oh, yes, and she seemed very interested in my work and very interested in what I have to say, but I have to say that I don't think I've ever seen anyone more beautiful and polite and she's able to be intellectual without being condescending. I find the quality of Nina that she asks very simple questions Yes. right away and these questions are very transformative. They Basically, they, one of her questions was the key to create that community which we have. Yes. And other questions were the key to, for my life transformation. Did she ask any questions of that sort for you? Not on a job interview. I'm sure that if you were, you are related to her, so she would ask different kinds of questions for you. Uh -huh. Mine were more business transformative and not personal transformative. Uh -huh. So yes, she did ask some questions that about the future, about how I would formulate a future at the colonies with certain talents that I have and was pleased with my answers, at least I think so. So telepathically she seemed pleased. So how would you transform the future in the colonies with your talents? That I cannot tell you, but I can tell you this. My abilities to motivate are great. My abilities to help with people to move forward are very positive. I've helped those, even my hybrid community, with some of their problems, and therefore it is a hope of mine that I'll be able to help others as well. How physically are you different from uh, uh, an average human? Would you be taller? I look fairly human. Uh -huh. um, I am maybe slightly taller. I'm only six foot tall. But I am slightly taller. I have in, inert, I had inert um, telepathic ability from birth. Not inert, inner. Inner, whatever. But I had it from birth, and it was seen. Uh-huh. And I didn't speak much as a, a child because I could sometimes pick up on thought patterns. Uh-huh. Well, if I meet you face to face, would I tell you, would I be able to tell that you are a hybrid? Only by my ears. Ah. What is about your ears? I have a low hanging lobe. Ah! Would it be 
of which race would it be represented? I've never heard about those. Actually, they're not sure how that happened. It just was an anomaly. Ah. So how we in the community down here could help you guys to help us? Let me see if I understood the question. Uh, to help the contact. Oh, help the contact. We will be helping with that as well. How can we down here help you to advance the contact? Um, you're actually helping them. I'm not involved with that, but you're helping them by uh, raising your vibrations and, and be forming a light nut. Yes. So, it's, the light nut is getting stronger. Yes, so... And it is actually strong in your community, strong in, your, the, in the uh, UN Colony Committees. Yes. It's uh, very nice to see, because that... They were all separate little lights, and they all come together to make a brighter light. So, how can we help you in your, in your job? You can't help me. Yes. I don't think that you can help me at this time. Perhaps some, sometime in the future, but not right now. How can we help the human colony up there? You already are. You're going there every day. Well, not you personally, but people from your human colony are going there every day. But they're concerned that nobody's remembering uh -huh. anything. Uh -huh. Some people remember nothing at all. Some re remember bits and pieces. Some remember whole sections, but that is about the best that it gets. Uh-huh. So have we, you and I met face to face? No. Uh-huh. Perhaps on Sunday. Um, they're saying that... All right. They're saying that they just want me to finish my Reiki and I have to leave. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. And thank you for introducing hybrid people. We, we want more of hybrids to speak to us. A lot of our members have hybrid children and I, we are hybrids, maybe most of us. So. We would like to communicate more with the hybrid community. Well, it appears that Jim does hybrid human-like creatures pretty well. I was, it took me a while to get in because I was rejecting the, rejecting the invitation. However, now that I'm here, it's okay. Ah. I was going, oh, where am I going? What are they doing? So I had to, uh, I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they were saying, get in there. And I'm yeah. like, what? Explain so. to your people who sent you how to prepare the hybrids for the visit. Okay, I will. Uh, and um, have a good day. Have a good day. Thank you much. Jim will continue working on your Reiki. And if you meet my children, uh, say hi to them. Yes. Actually, they are, they're much talked about. Well, have you ever met Bashar? Uh, I met Sasani or Chakani, however you want to say it. I met those kind of beings, yes. Um, and not Bashar himself. Most of our members love Bashar, so if you can pass our greetings to him, that would be great. He is up even higher than he, I am able to go instantly, so... You can just send email or something. Something like that. Okay. Thank you. I am Tucker. Hey Tucker, welcome. I see you want L. If they are not available right now. Okay. They are halfway across the universe. Of course, that's not a far trip. But they have business there. I see.
Do you follow our uh, organizing uh, uh, movements on the site? They're checked on every day. Do you have any advice? There needs to be some controls when there's no mature people involved in the conversations. However, it is harmless at this time. When you talk about conversation, I mean write the written conversations or hangouts, or visual, video? There are some areas of both that get out of control, but not anything too far that cannot be brought back and it has been dealt with. Yeah, I don't see any resources which I could use for more. No, it's, it's difficult. But just if you do happen to see something, make sure you comment about appropriateness uh -huh. if necessary. Yes. I believe I have bumped into one of your apparatuses. I don't get what? I have knocked something as good. I must go. Thank you very much for your help. Okay. Hey, Jim. Hey, how you doing? I think Takura said to me she hit the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get it. She, uh, she said she bumped with one of my apparatuses and I couldn't figure out what was that. <laughs> and I don't know what she was. She goes, on the way out, she said, I hit the camera. I said, okay, <laughs> I'll tell her. <laughs> so.